Hey everybody, Sean here from Gimiac.com. Here we are today back in Assemblance Oversight, grabbing the Departure Achievement. This is going to wrap up our first playthrough. So last time we left off, we were in the office with the Anomaly. Make sure you interact with the laptop that should turn the projector on. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure you zoom in on the projector. And then after you get the little distortion, zoom back out. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you hit Y to end the memory. So as soon as the memory is over, we are going to be back in the terminal terminal room make sure you hit up the terminal and we are going to choose our next destination so make sure you hit a to use it and then from the list you want to head down to installation 3f06 and that should take us back to the bunker in the little forest area before management takes control of us all So on this journey into the bunker, what you want to do is you want to make sure you make your way all the way to the back wall. So just head straight. You should notice that the door is locked. You are going to go up to the keypad and you are supposed to punch in this code 2341. And then after that, go all the way down to enter to get the door unlocked. Once it pops open, make sure you head on inside. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you keep going all the way to the end and interact with the terminal at the end of the hallway. So just like last time, make sure you keep mashing the A button to skip through all of the text. It's going to take a few minutes to get through this, so just keep mashing A and you should have no problem ignoring everything. You are going to keep doing this until you get a prompt to hit B to exit. Once that pops up, just hit B to exit and then we can get control of our character again. Once you finally get control of your character, make sure you turn around and then we're going to hang a left back to where the lasers are. Instead of looking for a dead body this time, we're just going to head straight, open up the door, and we are on the final stretch of the first playthrough. So you should notice this bright light with a person walking through. Make sure you head towards that person and just step through the bright light and then we're going to get a little cutscene right here. Certainties. Those cycles and patterns. They become our truths and our facts. But from here, you see them for what they are. Once you get control of your character, you're going to be in the hallway from the beginning of the game. Make sure you go through that same door from that part, but this time it's going to take you to a different room. So A button to open it, and this should warp you to this kitchen area. Make sure you keep heading forward. You are going to aim for the breakfast table in the back right corner. Once you are there, you should notice a hazmat helmet. What you want to do is you want to zoom in on it and then it should disappear, which should prompt you to turn around. And then as soon as you do, the hazmat suit guy is going to give you a little scare. He should be holding something, so make sure you head over to him and zoom in to what he's holding, which is the anomaly cube that we've been seeing throughout the entire game. Once you get that, another cutscene is going to play out. What you could be is just about to be crossed. And then the truth comes rushing in again. And nothing changes. Your, your perseverance has been quite impressive. This once that cutscene wraps, we are going to be back in the terminal room. The last thing we need to do for this playthrough is hit up the terminal again and select a location. We are going to select the newest location on the list, which is going to be Venera 17. So once standby mode is over, A button to use it, make sure you select it on the bottom of the list and that should set the portal. Step through and we should be greeted with one more cutscene and at the end of this cutscene, we should be good for our final achievement of our first playthrough. There it is, it's going to be for 100 gamer score. Don't forget to check back soon next time where we will start our coverage of the rest of the ending achievements. But that's all there is to it.